middle of the weight room today, which consists of plate-loaded machines. These are similar to the selectorized machines in the front of the room, but instead of changing the pin placement on the stack of plates, you're actually taking weighted plates and moving them onto an arm and then performing the exercise. And that takes you through the range of motion, uh, like the machines in the front of the room. Just like the selectorized machines, there are pins that can change the seat adjustments, the seat height to fit each individual person. Most of the machines have a storage rack that can hold plates and then they all have a moving arm where you're going to load the plate to perform the exercise. So I'm going to take the weight off of the storage rack, put it on the moving arm and then I'm ready to do this machine. After putting the weight on the moving arm and adjusting the seat height, you're ready to perform the exercise. In this case, we're going to show you some similarities between the front of the room and the middle of the room. This is a bicep curl. It's performed exactly the same way as the one in the front of the room. Black handlebars coming towards the face. After loading the plates on the moving arm, you perform the shoulder press the same as the selectorized machine. This is the lat pull down, just like the one in the front of the room. You sit facing the machine with your knees underneath. The, instead of having a silver bar that comes down in front of you, you have two black handles. Adjust your grip to do the same as one in front of the room, or you can change palms towards each other or palms in. It's the leg curl and the leg extension, they are exactly the same as the machines in the front of the room. Perform the exact same toe raises for your gastrocnemius or your calf muscle. Uh, feet go on the black platform pads go tight to the top of your knees. And adjust. You're going to raise up onto your toes and then pull a black handle away. You let your heels sink below the black platforms and go up onto the balls of your feet to toe raises and then you put the bar back underneath to rack the weight when you finish your set. The leg press is an excellent multi-joint exercise for the legs. You can adjust the leg press seat from behind. A couple safety features in place to make sure that the platform that has the weight is not going to come down and hurt uh, individuals that are lifting. Once you get your feet situated on the black platform, you extend your knees, and there's safety latches on both sides that you're going to lift up on. So this allows the platform to move freely up and down. There is a safety stop that is in place in case you become fatigued and cannot lift the weight off and rack it properly. So once I bring the platform down, if I become fatigued and I can't raise the weight, the safety stop will stop the platform from injuring me. After finishing your reps, rack the weight. This is the seated row for your trapezius in the back of your shoulders. And the one in the front of the room. You're going to put your chest against the red pad and you can adjust this pad based on the length of your arms. You're going to grab the black handles and then pull the weight towards you. The tricep extension machine. You're going, to adjust, you're going to adjust the seat and then you're going to adjust this pad to the top of your knees. Black handles come towards you. Put your armpits on the red pad and then you're going to push the weight away from you. The selectorized tricep push down is the same as the tricep extension. Thanks for watching the video on the plate loaded machines. Remember when you're lifting to start with light weights, always breathe during repetitions, and keep a slow, steady pace. <laughs>